unto thee, O Israel. You have sinned a great sin in the sight of God. You are not worthy to receive these Ten Commandments. <laughs> yeah, enough melodrama, right? Okie dokie. So, what's the point? What are the Ten Commandments of your freaking photography gear? What is it that you need to remember? What's so important that everybody seems to forget? Make your video shorter, you flap your lips too much, god damn it! Alright, whatever. Let's get to it in no particular order. Law number one. Never buy off-brand Zooms. Never! Never! Thou shalt not buy off-brand Zooms! There are a few exceptions. But don't ask me any more questions about Sigmas and Tamrons and Tequinas. I own some Tamrons, some of the Sigma Art Primes. Those are prime lenses. A couple of few of the Tamron Zooms, like the 70-200 to VC, are excellent. But don't ask me and don't buy off-brand zooms. Period. There are extremely few exceptions. Extremely few. Less than a handful. Law number two. Buy insurance on your gear. Why? You see right here? This is like six thousand bucks. You could drop it, lose it, get stolen, Inland Marine Insurance or personal article policy on this $6,000 right here, looking at 30 bucks a year, covers everything, zero deductible. Personal article policy, Inland Marine Insurance, both the same thing. Thou shalt have insurance on thy gear. Third commandment, in no particular order. Just like backpacking with a pack and a walking stick, you need to have a good gear pack. Get a low pro flip side. It lets you swivel around your backpack from your back to your front and open up the back of it instead of the front and get your gear out and swap shit out. Same thing like a walking stick. Have a monopod. Have a gear backpack and a monopod. Monopod also works as a walking stick. It's also great for woods and uh, field photography. Thou shalt have them. Number four, keep your lenses clean and cool and dry with clean end caps and bayonet mounts. Humidity is a killer. Okay, these aren't film cameras anymore. Okay, you don't open up the back of the camera and fucking sweep the dust out. What makes its way to the back stays in the back. Well, it's got an image clean, image sensor cleaning mode. Yeah, well, that doesn't really work, especially when it comes to oily, gritty shit that sticks onto your sensor like glue. Keep your end caps and your bayonet mounts, the back of your lenses and your end, your end caps clean. Law number five. Treat your light box of your camera, i.e. that hole there when you take your lens off, treat your light box like an open wound. Okay? Treat it like an open wound. If it doesn't have a body, it doesn't have a lens on it, have a body cap on it. Don't you dare do anything other than treat your DSLR light box other than anything like an open wound like a surgeon would. Okay, number six. Make love to your camera. What do you mean, you weirdo? It means that if you aren't tinkering around with this camera that you can't turn every knob and every dial with your eyes closed, you know where everything is, you're not there sitting and dicking around and fumbling with your camera. You know, when you're trying to take the shot, it's focusing on your camera instead of your gear, you are screwing up. Make love to your camera. It means you need to know every bit of it, inside and out, where everything is. Or never, it needs to be no thought involved. It needs to be uh, a true second nature to you. To use that like a, a crippled person would their wheelchair. Um, you know, like a PC gamer with the buttons on his console. You need to make love to your gear, not literally, obviously. You need to know your gear intimately. Law number seven. 
only buy SanDisk and Lexar discs, uh, your your, uh, your media for your uh, cameras. Never buy cards off of eBay, no matter how cheap they are, what they are is they're off-brand and counterfeits, eight times out of ten. Only buy from B&H or Adorama or a few other places. If you want to buy from Best Buy, go ahead and buy there, even though the prices are higher. All I have to do is price match Best Buy with B&H, and they'll give it to you for the same price. Yes, you'll have to pay tax, but you'll buy it on the spot. Never buy, never buy anything other than SanDisk or Lexar SD cards or compact flash cards for your DSLR gear. Never! And never buy them off of eBay, no matter how great the price. Period. Law number eight. A camera without a good flash and or a vertical grip is like a car without tires. 60-70% of photography is your own portable sunlight, right? You need to get out of your bounds and stop hunting down good light and start making your own light. Okay, you can throw all that money on all those lenses, you damn well can throw it towards a good use flash like an SB800 here. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to have to bite the bullet. If you're not familiar with flash photography, get familiar. And it isn't going to be hard. You know, if you got ex this isn't film anymore, alright? Back in the day, yo, know, you're reminiscing. Back in the day, you had to fucking process the film and look at the fucking negatives to see what you did wrong. I mean, don't be a lazy fucking douchebag. All you have to do is hit the play button on the back of the DSLR. It's like, oh, I fucked that up. I know how I can fix that. I mean, shit, it is so easy to experiment with a DSLR. Back in the day, we had to process our film before we could see our mistakes. Yes! That means that there's even less reason for you to be a lazy fuckbag a lazy cocksocket, a lazy fuck nugget, and not experiment with flash photography. A camera without a good flash and a vertical grip. A vertical grip is questionable. I can't live without a vertical grip. It's like a car without tires. Law oh, number nine. Half your lenses basically need to be primes. At the very least, you need a wide, a normal, and a tele slash portrait. At the very least, Okay? Zooms, hamburger, your light. Law number 10. Keep plenty of extra Eneloop Panasonic batteries for your flashes. Some bat extra batteries for your camera. There's no fucking excuse for you to be out in a shoot and running low on power on your flash or your camera. Period. The same goes for extra SD cards. A 32 gigabyte SD card, you're talking 30 bucks. Go on a shoot, have some extra cards. You should always have at least four extra at minimum. You don't have to be packing four extra with you all the time, especially if your camera has two SD card slots. But typically, you'd have to, your second SD card slot in your camera, whether it's compact and SD or two SDs, you'd have it as an instantaneous backup. So even though there's only two in there, technically there's only one. So those are the ten laws of photography, the ten commandments of your gear, not of photography, of your gear, excuse me. Just like backpacking with a walking stick, you gotta have a good gear backpack and a monopod. Never buy off-brand zooms, ever! There are so few exceptions. Fuck it with the off-brand, well the Sigma lens is cheap, yeah it's a piece of shit too. Well the Tamron zooms, it. yeah it's a fucking shit! It's fucking piece of shit. Well, the Tequila Zoom is so... I don't care. It's crap. Please stop asking me about them. Please. Have insurance on your gear. Mandatory. It's cheap. You're an idiot if you don't do it. Don't care how good you are. You're going to drop your gear. It's going to get stolen or fucked up. Insurance is damn cheap. It's the most important thing here, and you can't see it. Keep your lenses clean, store them cool and dry, and keep your end caps clean. Make love to your camera. You gotta know it intimately or you're gonna fuck up your shots because you're always gonna be fucking around with your camera. Well, I don't know where this button is or I forget how to increase my flash comp. Don't ever be like that. You gotta be concentrating on what you're shooting, not on your fucking camera. Your camera needs to become part of your body. Treat your light box or your camera like an open wound. Always a body cap or always a lens on it. Never let shit get in there. You gotta treat it like an open wound. 
only buy SanDisk and Lexar SD or compact flash media, period. Never buy cards off of eBay because a lot of them are counterfeit. They're branded SanDisk, but they're not. A camera without a good flash and a vertical grip, although the vertical grip is questionable, it is to me, is useless. Not useless, but I mean, it's like a car without decent tires. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. 60-70% of photography involves a flash. You can ask any pro that if you don't believe me. Okay, I don't care. It is a hardcore fact from hell. I don't care if you disagree. I'm fucking right on it and there's no ifs, ands, or buts and it's not up for debate. Whether you're familiar with a flash or not, that's another matter. But that's where you need to be going. Half your lenses need to be primes. At the very least, you need a wide, a normal, and a tele slash portrait prime, at the very least. Keep plenty of extra Eneloop batteries for your flash and extra batteries for your camera. Even the ProMaster batteries for the Nikons, uh, they are uh, apparently very good. I've not heard any negative reports out of them from anybody that I know that does a lot of pro shooting. Uh, they've been tracking uh, their life cycle. They're like 20 bucks cheaper and apparently they are just as good. They're just perfectly fine lithium batteries. So, those are the Ten Commandments of your fucking gear. Disobey them at your own peril. And if you thought this was a joke video, well, whatever. But it's dead serious and you should actually take those Ten Commandments quote-unquote seriously. Because they are important. Whether you think this video is a funny little rib or something like that, it's actually not the case. I'm dead serious about it. Anyway, if you like this video, Tell me a buck or two, or tell me to go screw myself, whatever turns you on, whatever floats your boat. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later, right? Right.